Now, it's not a very British thing to be smug. And it's not a very British thing to gloat. Um, and uh, it's frowned upon in these circles because uh, that's just not cricket. However, <laughs> I'm Cornish. I'll do what the hell I like. And I am as smug and as gloaty as anyone you've ever seen. I am gloaty McGloat face today. Have you seen the front page of the Times? The front page of the Times is a newspaper. People used to buy them in the 80s. Anyway, the front page, top story, banner headline. EVs don't go as far as manufacturers say they do. <laughs> what car have carried out numerous tests undiscovered that the range that the manufacturers say is not the range you get. 12 months. No, longer than that. 17 months I have been banging on about this. How the range is not the range and it's a load of bullshit and it's way less than it should be. And all the time, milk floaters and EV angelists. I quite like EV angelists. It's quite good that. Um, not one of my lines, but still a good line. Um, they've been banging on going, oh, you just don't know how to drive it properly. You're not driving it properly. You need to drive it 55 miles an hour. Then you'll get the maximum range as per the manufacturer. And you drive it this and you keep putting the air conditioning on and you keep using the car as it's meant to be bloody used with the facilities put in the car in the first place. But don't worry about any of that. You don't know what you're doing. You can't drive milk floats. Thousands of times I've been told that in the last 17 months. Absolutely thousands. And I've said every time, all I do is get in and drive it. You can't go any wrong with it. There's no gears. It's forwards and backwards. That's it. That's all there is. There is nothing else. So you get in it, you drive it. And you drive it just as you drive any other car. And if it doesn't perform like it should... Then whose fault is that? Well, it turns out that the manufacturers, when they predict the range of the car, they do it in a laboratory condition. They do it in the warm. They do it with everything turned off. They do it on a rolling road. They do it at 55 mile an hour, accelerating so very gently. In the words of what car? You wouldn't get away with it on the roads. Well, milk floaters do try and get away with it. That's why they're all driving at 50 mile an hour on the motorways all the time. So the manufacturers are deliberately manipulating the figures to make them look better than they are. That is in the survey. It was never in doubt in my mind, but for some reason, if you bought one, you had to believe it because otherwise you'd have to admit you fucked up. So uh, it turns out that according to what car, it's 18% is the average difference in the range between what the manufacturer says and what you actually get in the real world. Uh, so on 150 mile range, that's about 27 miles. So it would make it 123. I'd say 18% is the absolute bare minimum. I reckon that that is real world what you're going to get at best. 18% off the manufacturer's figures. The very best. And then it goes down to, you know, the worlds of the VOE and the vans and things like that and the Peugeot 2008 and the Renault Zoe uh, where they state 165 miles and you actually get 80. Um, so you can go as low as 50%. So I wouldn't say the average is 18%. I'd say the minimum is 18%. But nevertheless... It's there. It's there in black, white and colour. Because the Times is printed in colour. They print newspapers in colour. I haven't seen that since today when I was a paper boy in 1986. Um, 87. Um, so there you have it. What car have come out and said it? The manufacturers have had to admit it. They do it under laboratory conditions. They don't actually drive the cars on the roads. I mean, I don't think they ever did. I mean, VW have obviously lied about this for years and got found out about it, or VW Group. So all the cars associated with VW, which is half the cars on the road. And uh, they lied about MPG for years and years and years and then got caught out. Well, they've been caught out a lot quicker with EVs. 
and quite rightly so, because I called it out as bullshit at the start. And 17 months later, I'm not sat in smug corner. I am not sat on my gloating sofa. I'm sat in my beautiful Alpha Diesel, which of course does 50 miles to the gallon. No matter if you rag the shit out of it, it still does 50 miles to the gallon. And trust me, I do. So I do know. And I'm happy with that. And I'm in a beautiful environment. And I can turn the radio on if I want. And I can turn the heaters on if I want. I can turn the air conditioning on in the summer. None of the things that milk float owners can do in their milk float that doesn't go as far as they think it does because the manufacturers lied in the first place. <laughs> Get in! This is a victory for me. It's a victory for Jeff. It's a victory for McMaster. And it's a victory for everyone that said, that's a pile of crap. And we got told that we were thick as shit and we didn't know what we were doing. And it turns out we were right all along. So, yes, I am incredibly smug and I am incredibly gloaty and I am incredibly proud of the fact that I spotted the Emperor's new clothes before a lot of other people did. And all I did was record a little video on Facebook. That's where it started. I did a video on Facebook, put it on Reels, and it's got 1.6 million views. So there must be something in it. And obviously now I've got a YouTube channel and it's doing all right. Thanks very much. Thanks for everyone for watching. But you wouldn't be watching if I was talking shit. So I must be telling the truth. Or at least partially the truth. Some of the time. What was it, the American politician? Yeah, all of the truth, some of the time, and some of the truth all of the time, not all of the truth all of the time. Well, I do try, because you don't need to make it up, as I've just proven. You don't need to make it up. It's there. It's real, and now it's been proven to be real. So I never needed to make this up. I never needed to bullshit. All I had to do was tell the truth and keep driving the cars and telling the truth. And at the end of it, vindicated doesn't even come close. So uh, thank you to everyone that supported me and believed what I was saying. Thank you to everyone that criticised me. I don't expect an apology. I, I don't expect anything in writing. Um, you know, I'm sorry that you were wrong and I was right. <laughs> I am now off to the pub to be gloaty McGloat face some more. Um, and I will be doing it not in a diesel car. I'm going to walk there because that way I can have a few more. Um, much like a milk floater who would have to walk there because he's run out of range. Future my arse!